Hey folks, Dan Fro here with your market update for July 30th, 2024. So in today's video, the day before the Federal Reserve comes out, we're going to see some uh, consumer confidence numbers. We're going to see the Jolt Index, how many job openings there are. And then we're going to look at home prices. Yes, home prices. I hate doing this because everybody's like, ah, they're crashing. And then no matter what data I give you guys, uh, people are, will comment down below, this, 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 this information is false. So I'll give you as much context in this as I can. And then we're going to go over delinquencies. We're going to talk about house delinquencies, commercial delinquencies, because remember about a year ago with Silicon Valley Bank, they, they went under and that was supposed to be a massive flood of bank bank closures. Well, that, that never happened. It was just like kind of like the housing crash that has never yet happened. And then we're all go also going to look at inflation. Are we getting gouged? Are we getting gouged by corporations? I'm going to show you some things that you might just say, hmm, pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's get to today's data to figure out what the Federal Reserve is going to do tomorrow based on the last minute information that we have. So here's a mortgage rates start the day 6.81. They're down five ticks from where they were yesterday. What are they going to do today? Well, let's get to the calendar and figure this out. We first go to the economic calendar on Bloomberg. It only gives us two pieces of information today. And here they are. We have the consumer confidence I don't know how consumer confidence is up, especially with this election coming up, but uh, consumer confidence went from 97 to 100. Okay, we'll just take it for what it's worth. And then we have jaw, or jolt. How many job openings there are? There's still over 8 million job openings. And I think this is probably, uh, th this is a kind of a record number of how many times the jolt index was over 8 million job openings. So that's showing companies have openings, but they're a little more picky right now to hire. So the next thing we wanna do is go to the big calendar. Now here's my big calendar. Why I do this or why I subscribe to MBS Live is it gives me live tickers of what's going on with mortgage rates as well as this information through here. So if we go down through here, you're going to see some interesting information. Right through here, you're going to see the Case-Shiller Home Price Index. It's saying home prices, previous reading was up 7.2%. It got revised up up to 7.3. I was expected to drop to 6.7. It came in at 6.8%. So what they're saying is in the case Shiller price index, the 20 of the, the, the country's largest cities, they're seeing appreciation in housing of 6.8%, a far cry from that crash. Okay, so that's that. Month over month, they're starting to cool down though. Month over month, you're seeing right through here. Last time it was red, it was point up 0.2 month over month, revised up a little bit to 0.3, came in completely flat this time. That's right through there. And then we have the Jolt Index right through here. It's telling us there's 8.18 million job openings right now. So that's the data that we have right there. So now let's get over to this. Home prices climb yet to another record. And people are going to say, Dan, this information is absolutely incorrect. Well, the data just came in right there. You can see the timestamp. Let's go to some other charts that you guys might hopefully trust. So we go over to here, here's home prices. And you can see right through here, 2024, this, you know, yes, we peaked out right in this area, right through here. And then it came down a little bit. Every, a lot of people predicted saying, okay, in June of 2022, home prices uh, hit their peak. Well, it kind of went down and now we're back up again. So if you don't believe that chart, let's get over to this chart. All transactions of homes in the United States, what they're doing. Okay, again, back in this area here, Q in 2022, everybody thought the house prices peaked. They went down a little bit, and then that correction was shortly lived, and, rate, and the home prices continued to go up, even when we hit 8% interest rates. Now, a lot of people are now going to say, okay, how about the delinquency? Delinquencies are going to run rampant, and people are going to get foreclosed on and lose their home, and that's going to flood the market with, with houses. Well, here's the delinquency rate on residential mortgages. See, back in 2008... We were all the way up through here. This is what happened. Now here's where we are. And people will say, okay, well, we were all good all the way through here. And then this would happen. Well, yeah, but we were all the way good for here, all the way through here, all the way through here. So these are years and years and years. Please quit using this little snippet right through here with for all your data to preach the, there's going to be a housing crash. That's not accurate data. Okay, so now you see the delinquencies also on commercial properties are starting to decline. You're starting to see not as much of this information in the news. Remember what was headlines were delinquent? Uh, commercial properties were going to just go bust. It's kind of like uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Remember about a year and a half ago, uh, Silicon Valley Bank was going out. 
or they were going under. The uh, FDIC came in and salvaged it, and people were like, oh, this is going to run rampant. Banks all over the country are going to start defaulting because of commercial paper, residential real estate, and all that. And that was short-lived as well. But people just love the negative data. But uh, fortunately, commercial property loans are starting to get a little bit better on that end. So now let's look at some areas where I, I this, this is kind of, I, I, I kind of just went off a cuff on this one. I was going through the news today, or this morning, with Yahoo Finance. And, and, and look at these. You first start off right through here is use as home prices unchanged, may or may. We, we got that. But then you start seeing this. PayPal jumps after lifting uh, profits. Pfizer pops after profit, uh, raising profits. S&P Global raises profit forecast. Bill Ackerman's trying to take over a company. N uh, Nomura profits triple. Are you seeing something here? Kind of like this. Look at BP. Now we're saying the oil companies, they're, they're, they're the poor oil companies, they're just struggling to get by. They just came in with $2.8 billion. $2.8 billion in profits. Net profits. Okay, absurd. Okay, but God bless them. I guess it's capitalism and they're doing what they're doing. But are we getting taken advantage of with all these things? So it's like McDonald's yesterday. When McDonald's came in and they said, oh, we missed earnings estimates. We're going to have to start kind of cutting our prices again to be competitive. A lot of these companies are going to have to do the same thing. But the consumer needs to cut back its spending. Okay, so that's what we're seeing right now. So is the world ending? No. Home prices are actually, they're starting to stabilize, going up just a little bit. We have the job market solidifying. We have the, the markets in general. The equity market's doing fantastic on all this news. So we're going to be patient to see what the Federal Reserve comes out and does tomorrow. Well, my expectations are this. They're going to come out and basically just lay the groundwork for a September cut. They're not going to cut tomorrow. The reason being is the economy's okay. Okay, they don't have to come in and cut. Actually, based on the Jolt Index and a lot of this information right through here, do they even need to cut? Because all these companies keep hitting record profits. It's why it's the consumer is still continuing to spend and spend and spend, even when we're running out of money, as I showed you in the M2 Money Supply yesterday. So that's my report for this morning, just to give you a caption of what to expect today. Home prices are up. Delinquencies on, on homes and commercial properties are down. Uh, we're going to see mortgage rates. Let's go back to mortgage rates, see where that's coming in right now. So we get rid of this section through here. The MBS market right now is completely flat, which I expected until tomorrow. So I don't really expect the equity markets or the bond market to really do too much in anticipation of waiting what the Federal Reserve is going to do tomorrow. So I will be back at the closing bell. But right now we're going to see mortgage rates completely steady right through here at 6.81. I don't even expect them to move at all today unless just something uh, just weird comes out of the woodworks. Other than that, all the markets and all the equity markets and bond markets, they're waiting for what the Federal Reserve is going to do tomorrow. So we'll come back tomorrow with that, but we will be uh, back at the closing bell to let you guys know how all this transpired today. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to reach out to me and my team to figure out if you can buy a house. So you might be saying, Dan, what do you do? Who are you? Are you an economist, a financial advisor? No, I'm just a little old uh, mortgage person. So if you're out in the world and you're looking to try to buy your first property, well, if you're out in the U.S. and you're trying to buy your first property, I'd love to help you. Well, I could be your only call because I'm, I actually work at ServBank. I'm federally licensed, meaning I'm licensed in every state. So if you're no matter where in the country you are, I can help you. We're also one of the country's largest mortgage brokers. That means I can provide you up to 50 different lender quotes. So how does this work? So basically you put in one application. We pull your credit one time. We're going to shop your loan to up to 50 different lenders as well as ServBank. Because if another bank or another mortgage company has lower rates, I have the ability to use their rates and also their programs to help you guys when you're navigating the housing market. So my name is Dan Frio. Check us out at therateupdate.com. If you're trying to buy your first house, the first thing I would suggest you do is please check the Grant Finder right there. It's providing grants up to $6,500 for people who are buying their first house. Helps them with down payment, closing costs, things like that. But if you want to start this process going to see if you qualify to buy your first house, maybe your second house, maybe a first investment property, or even refinance, well, click right through here and put the, your application in or if you're reluctant to do that, feel free to call us. You can do that right at the bottom of our website. So you can scroll down. You're going to see blogs, mortgage calculators, and everything else. You're going to come across right through here. It's going to be our 800 number, which is 844-775-5626. Or you can email me directly at dan at the rateupdate.com. If you haven't subscribed yet, we hit 30,000 subscribers the other day and growing. So if you're not a part of our family yet, please hit the subscribe button right over there. I would greatly appreciate it. Take care, and I will see you at the closing bell. Have a fantastic afternoon. Bye-bye.